When a crime occurs, it is often someone that is closest to the victim that is the perpetrator. That could be physically close to the person as in location, meaning they have easy access. It can also mean close as in a relationship, or it could just be an acquaintance. When it comes to 1122 King Road, there are many neighbors that lead to suspicious questions. One of them lives just behind 1122 King Road, or did at the time, allegedly, Emma Bailey. Many suspect that drugs may have played a part in the murder of the four Idaho victims. There are those that look at Emma as a very important person of interest when it comes to the Idaho four murders. Not only did she live right behind the victims, but in March of 2023, she was arrested and charged with delivering drugs to a person who died from said drugs. Those charges are later dismissed. When the name Emma Bailey is spoken, often you also hear Demetrius Robinson's name. And allegedly, he resided with Emma Bailey behind 1111-22 King Road in an apartment. He was arrested in March of 2021 by the Washington State University Police for assaulting a woman in a hotel where he choked and threatened to kill her. Demetrius's prior history also revealed that in 2018, he was arrested and convicted of fourth and second degree assault charges. Whispers from the locals as well as rumors have suggested that one of the girls may have flushed a large amount of illegal drugs right before their deaths. Almost validating the rumor is as the girls are walking away from the corner bar with the hoodie guy and you hear Kaylee say, Maddie, what did you tell Adam? And then you have Maddie say, I told Adam everything. Hoodie guy says, they're going to get you girls for that. They're going to get you girls, Maddie. Hours, just simply hours before these beautiful girls are murdered. I offer to you the intuitive double tarot reading of Emma Bailey and Demetrius Robinson. Nothing I share here is factual. This is simply my opinion, my interpretation of the story being shared by my guides, my connection to the universe. And with that, I encourage you, do your own research, form your own opinions. Okay, so for Major Arcana, I got the Hermit for Emma. And I got the Empress in reverse, which the Empress to me is a victim in the True Crime Reads. And it's in reverse. And that was for Demetrius, which is very bothersome because it almost is that his strongest energy is that there's a removal of the Empress, which is scary to me. Hermit is Virgo energy, pulling within, trying to follow your own internal light. Let's continue. In the Ascended Master's message, we're going to use the same deck for both Emma and Demetrius. For Emma, Ascended Masters, show me this energy of Emma and the Idaho Four. Show me Emma Bailey, Idaho Four, the strongest energy, Idaho Four, Emma Bailey. We have death. That's what Emma Bailey got. Is and indeed there was a death of four. Why she got that scorpionic energy, I am not sure. For Demetrius, he got the world closed cycle. <sighs> Heavy energy here, both major arcanas. I am picking up a major connection. 
you can see this maiden's hand is being outstretched and death has pulled the hand so in the ascended masters for emma i'm getting the death card and for demetrius i'm getting the world card so if we look back we have the empress in reverse i explained i felt like that was a victim was no more it's then followed by this death card so the victim in reverse with the world card I'm going to let you draw your own conclusions, of course. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. My intuition is telling me there's a direct connection between death and Demetrius as well as Emma. Ancestor's message. With this, we're going to use our true crime deck. Now, it doesn't always have to come out in a negative way. It could just be like aunt, uncle, so forth. But we'll find out. This is for Emma. Bailey, Idaho 4, the death of all four individuals. Any connection? Okay, I was told to keep going. These are the two. The top one is Emma. The bottom one will be Demetrius. Oh, my God. Okay, Emma gets the grave. Laid to rest, buried, complete, and it's the four. We often get this card when doing the readings in this case. We also can see a magnifying glass, which you know that one of the girls, I believe it was Kaylee, that was into true crime. I'm just saying it's there. We have the fingerprint associated here. Well, and that's on all of these cards. So I'm not saying specifically, but to get grave, laid to rest, buried, complete. We have the world card which is complete. We have the death card, which is the grave. Money burden is coming over here for Demetrius. Desperate, risky, overburdened, and he has debt. Well, isn't that something? Let's look at the current energy of Miss Emma Bailey. Current energy. Now, these decks are not all in the upright. I have purposely allowed them to go upright, reverse, whatever comes out. Let's look at energy in the current situation with Emma Bailey. The moon concealment. She's hiding or in hiding. In other words, she's keeping something hidden or she is being hidden. This is a concealed path, an unknown placement. We'll get a qualifier. Let's go ahead and look at Demetrius's. There it went. He got two cards. He got the Knight of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. So these are two different energies. He answers to someone. And this King of Wands has always been, when I drew two crime readings, the drug dealer. It's in reverse. And the Knight of Cups is also in reverse. So I sense that there is a, a whew, king of wands in reverse is a narcissist. It is a very controlling person. It is somebody that calls the shots. Knight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that is emotionally a mess. A mess. And you have Emma over here that's hiding out, that is keeping this top secret. Let me understand the moon card for Emma Bailey. The moon card for Emma Bailey. The hermit in reverse. See, look, 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 look. She had the hermit as her overall energy, right? And now she has the hermit in reverse. So she thought she was following something for the highest good of herself. Unfortunately, she's now in hiding, and this actually is the reverse of hiding. So it's telling me she's hiding something. She's hiding information. Because she got the hermit in reverse, it means she's not the one in hiding necessarily. And she might be a little bit in hiding from the media, the world, right? Let's continue. Let me understand, on the night of the murders, before they had taken place, was there any blockage for Emma? Oh, no. 
I was told that is not the right energy as soon as I asked that. Show me Emma's blockage, the night of the Idaho war murders. Thank you. She has a couple cards. The Hierophant, morals, is her blockage. Morals. This code of ethics. And the Knight of Cups. Now remember, Demetrius is the Knight of Cups. So we have not aligned with the King, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups. And like I said, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. He's under the power of a very strong narcissistic energy. So she's got the Hierophant, which also is a marriage of sorts. She's in cahoot. She's with the Knight of Cups. So according to my reading, her blockage would literally be Demetrius is somehow blocking her energy. Let's continue. What would Demetrius's blockages be? What on the night of the murders? What was the blockage? King of Pentacles. Again, a kingpin, right? Money. This is all about stability, longevity, money. This is a money crisis. And I don't normally say that when you get the King of Pentacles. But it's the blockage. It's not having it. It's control of money with the King of Wands overseeing this Knight of Cups. And here's Emma. Her blockage this morals connected to this Knight of Cups. This is reading like the book that it should, right? Telling us the story. All right. Let's get Emma Bailey's. I don't know why I'm being told to shuffle so much. Emma Bailey's influences. What was influencing Emma Bailey on the night of the Idaho Four Murders. Oh my gosh! Servitude serving this Knight of Pentacles. So you could see the Knight of Pentacles as uh, energy of, of finances and energy of stability. Um, it's influenced her in the sense of being stuck somehow. And needing to get unstuck. Let's move her back over here so we keep this straight. That's her influence. It's a Knight of Pentacle qualification. Three of Wands, patience. This is strategic planning. Three of Wands is a plan of action to become unstuck. The Knight of Pentacles with servitude is her energy is being served somewhere. She's not allowed to pull her energy back. She is serving a plan. Let's go ahead and look at Demetrius's influences. What was Demetrius's influences on the night of the Idaho Four Murders? Jesus, help me save this planet, bring justice. Lord, y'all, the death card. You guys, the influence on the night of the Idaho Four murders. Again, it's a death card. Look at this. The death rider. Right? And Emma had the death card when it came to the Ascended Masters message. Demetrius had the world. Think about it. This plan of action because they're stuck. Somebody and those Idaho four may have got these two stuck, Emma and Demetrius. And death was the influence. I want a qualifier with Demetrius's death card. Two of Wands, stuck. And there's that world card, stuck. He's holding this ball of water. It's an emotional turmoil. And what is his problems? We know it is desperation. It's a monetary issue. It's money burdens, right? 
And so when you look at these influences for Demetrius, we've got the stuck two of wands and the death card. When we look at Emma, she's got the plan and how to get unstuck, right? All right, this is a big deal. What is the root cause of Emma feeling stuck and having a strategy, a plan, if you will, on the night of the Idaho Four murders in relative to their death? Ten of Pentacles, money, legacy. Everything was balanced on this. This is, this is a debt that has to be paid. And remember, money burdens is Demetrius. Did somehow one of the Idaho Four have some sort of a connection that affected Demetrius's money? We've got this legacy. You can see one, two, three, four, five girls. Well, if you had Emma in the bunch, then that would mean Madison, Kaylee, Zanna, or you could just take Emma out and you could see this as Bethany. You could see this as, as Kaylee, Madison, and Dylan. Ten of Pentacles legacy. There's something. This root cause could be a sorority. It looks like a house of women. Is this the house mother? Legacy. College legacy. Let's go ahead and get a qualifier. Oh, Lord of mercy. Detachment here in reverse. And this is a spell of protection this person is wearing. And they are detaching. They are cutting cords with someone. And they are, are moving. And this is a hidden, because it's in reverse, a hidden path to, well, to them. It's putting them in a better placement. Let's understand this when it comes to the root cause, right? Whoa, sorry. Wake up call for Demetrius. Root cause, two of pentacles. <laughs> this is not having enough. It's having to juggle, juggle, juggle. It's having to rob Peter to pay Paul. It's not having enough. And again, it is screaming stuck financial mess. And I'm talking about something shifted and things just absolutely unravel. This person is balancing in the traditional tarot on one foot and juggling. And they cannot do that forever. And the two of pentacles means putting something to rest. It's as if Demetrius had to resolve an issue to get past something. Past influence for Emma Bailey, when it comes to the death of the Idaho Four, Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in the upright. This is walking away, not looking back. Don't give a F. This is not walking away when you know you should. Not walking away when you know you should. Demetrius, what is your past influence? The emperor. Oh, this is it right there. The emperor is the big dude. This is somebody with community ties. This is somebody that has power. And that is who he works for. Okay? Somebody that has a lot of power. The emperor is a very controlling person. Very controlling person. That's how they get to be all four kings. They rule the, not just the land, but the, the country. Emma Bailey, near future. Did I miss something? I feel like there's a perspective. Okay. Near future, Emma Bailey, king of wands in reverse. Loss of power, loss of leadership, loss of standing. Somehow she lost out on her fast pace, I've got this kind of move. Right? <clears throat> she won't be leading anybody. Near future for Demetrius, the Hierophant. More committed than ever to what he was. This is a form of, of true partnership. 
This is an alliance, an allegiance, if you will. It's talking about the lay of the law, right? He may have more legal issues coming. On the night that these four beautiful, Zanna, Ethan, Kaylee, and Maddie, lost their innocent lives, what was the perception after Emma found out? Five of Pentacles in reverse. In the upright, this is poverty, a lack mindset, not having enough, being abandoned, left for dead. She's got the reverse. She's no longer after the fact, suffering the consequences of this problem of not having enough. Qualify that five of pentacles, the chariot in reverse. Chariot in the upright is cancer energy, and it also means a win-win-win. It means a divine path chosen and followed to the end. It's in reverse. It means a divine path was severed and was not able to complete. What is Demetrius's perception after learning of the Idaho Four Deaths? Four of Pentacles holding back, keeping something on the down low, being greedy, holding on to something too tightly. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Defending oneself and how far. Secretly defending oneself. So, <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Outside influence for Emma Bailey. Whoa, sorry guys, sorry. The headphone cord snagged it. <laughs> what is this outside influence for Emma Bailey? The world, we're back to the world completion. There was outside influences of the world around her that Emma is surrounded in that push this to a close. This is also a travel card. It's a communication card. Show me this outside influence. What is the outside influence for Demetrius? Five of Wands. Communication issues. That was the outside influence, is everything got jumbled up. Chaos was happening. There was problem. There was a significant issue. And he was having communication issues. Seven of Cups. And it was involving a lot of confusion. Seven Cups is not understanding all the options. And the Cups, the options being very confusing and not making a lot of sense. What was this a result of? Let's add on the tower. Something he learned of that, that dissolved his world. It's like he lost something. Show me what this tower was. What did Demetrius lose? Eight of swords. This, this tower, he snapped. Eight of swords in the upright is so eight swords, it's eight knives, it's mental imprisonment, and he exploded. It became no longer a mental imprisonment within, but also without it caused chaos. When I say without, I mean exterior of himself, as within, as without. It exploded, it came on the outside, and that's that five of wands. It caused communication issues, it caused chaos, it caused seven of cups confusion, and it ended a cycle, according to Emma Bailey. Let's understand the cycle, which to me is the death of the Idaho Four. The magician, inner skills. And look at the skeletons around her. This is someone manifesting. And she holds that book of plan, right? What's in that book? The recipe to her success. So, in this reading... Emma is showing me that she's the one that had a plan. She's the one that had the, the thought process of how this would all go. And Demetrius is the action taker. 
If this were to be set straight in true justice to come in for the Idaho Four, what action would Emma Bailey need to take? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Generosity. Like a hidden generosity. Like she would need to anonymously come forward and generously share her truth, share her knowledge. This is an exchange, a fair exchange. Six of Pentacles is handing out, giving, delivering. And this would have to be done in, in quiet in order for her safety because it is in reverse. So it's a hidden exchange. For the Idaho Four victims to receive true justice, what would Demetrius need to do? <laughs> you got the King of Cups in reverse. Are you kidding me? This is acknowledging his deepest fears, his deepest truths, and bringing it to the forefront, right? And it's also in reverse, which would mean he would need to do it for his own safety on the down low of what really took place. Hmm. Wow. Normally, I would ask the outcome, but we already know the outcome, unfortunately, of all four victims. So what I am going to ask is, with everything that we have seen with Emma Bailey connected to the Idaho Four, and knowing that she had some sort of a plan, according to these cards, I say I know, but it's my opinion, and that's all it is. Do your own research, form your own opinion. What was Emma Bailey's plan of actions, outcome? that she took on the night the Idol Four were murdered. Page of Cups, inventiveness. The Page of Cups is something very unorthodox, unusual, and it's usually a stinky offer. It's no good. This is somebody that is holding a cup with a fish in it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to anybody else but it does to the person. And I find that very peculiar. She would get this lilies, which can represent funerals. What is the outcome after Demetrius clears the Seven of Cups confusion? What is this tower that Demetrius had for an outcome when he took the action? Three of Wands, a strategic plan. Let me understand this strategic plan for Demetrius. Holy shit, Ten of Swords. Ten Swords. So the plan was the outcome. And the tower is represented by ten knives in the back. And it's total betrayal and it's over the top overkill. You don't need ten knives in the back for something to be dead and over. Let me understand a little bit more about this page of cup for Emma. Seven of Wands, bravery. Clarify. Two of Swords, confusion. She's trying to be brave, um, I think that she's felt ready to make a decision between day and night. You've got this day and you've got night. She's trying to control something and telling someone to be brave and do something that isn't any good. Huh. We're going to jump to the back of the book. Actually, I'm going to go this way. No, we're going to go to the back of the book. All right, let me see if we can hold it open. <clears throat> Show me the connection from Emma Bailey to the actual murders of the Idaho Four. Four of swords, four swords, four knives, laid them to rest. That looks like Emma Bailey to me. Show me... Oh, 
That is unreal. Okay, that's where the book wants to lay. That's fine. Show me Demetrius's direct connection to the Idaho Four. Archangel Michael, Temperance in Reverse. This is no act of an angel. Mm, I don't like it. It's the act of a magician, an illusionist, a manifester, and... Ace of Wands in reverse. This was not Balak. This was power. He was doing this to regain some power. Some form of... He was, in his eyes, correcting an issue. Wow. I really feel strongly that this reading is saying a lot. But that's my own opinion. I want to thank you as always, for tuning in with me. It means the world to me, as well as justice for Kaylee, Madison, Ethan, and Santa. I appreciate you for liking, subscribing, sharing, or commenting, or whatever you do. Maybe you donate. Again, thank you, Pam Zamo. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well, Jennifer Swain. And thank you, Magdalene, Magdalena, for your donation as well. I truly do love you to the moon and back. I hope you realize that. I love you to the moon and back and beyond. Until I read for you again. <laughs>